Hello, my name is Julie Yak, and we are going to make ourselves a quick model-driven app on the Power Platform. You'll see here that we are at make.powerapps.com, simply in the maker experience. This environment that we're in is pretty empty. I've not put anything in it other than the generic CDS database. So I have, through the magic of demos, made a solution to hold our new app. We're going to create that app and it's going to be a model driven app. Our app designer is going to pop up. Technically speaking, this is all I need, but let's go ahead and use a different icon just because we can. Let's use that angel smiley and we'll click done. Now we have our app designer available to us. You'll see that we have really nothing in here, but let's go ahead and add on our site map here. Um, it be let's give this a area and item. Let's give it a name here. Best practice in the wild would be to be renaming these IDs as well. But in the interest of making an app quickly, we're going to go through some of those best practices later. Let's add it entities. These are the entities that come out of the box for my CDS database. We're going to add accounts and contacts. It's pretty much every business needs accounts and contacts. Maybe their businesses, maybe their people, maybe their vendors, but pretty much all these businesses need to have that. So let's save this site map and we'll go ahead and publish it. Then we'll come back and look at our app designer real quick here. You'll see that when we added those to our site map, it added our entities for us. It also added all of those forms, all of those views, all of those charts, essentially all of those assets. So we've saved our app. Let's validate it. It's going to give us some warning. Again, the warnings are because we used all of our assets, not individual assets. And that's okay because we did select all of those. We've published it. Now let's play it. Here we have a fully functional model driven application. Let's make a new account record. We'll add that record. We've got the form available. We have more than one form type available. We can add a contact record. We need to add a new contact. Let's add our new contact record. We've related it to that account record. And those are all available to us. We have the fully functional model driven app in less than three minutes. Join me at over at 365.training for more details and more learning about model-driven applications.